Hi, this is Ken from Ken's Horticultural Services and ColonaGardens.com. Uh, we're just talking about uh, trees breaking dormancy and why people uh, sometimes like to use dormant oil to kill insects on trees. And dormant oil is applied, it's, a, it's an oily substance that can be sprayed onto a tree and it coats insects and suffocates them. So uh, on this maple tree here, this maple is starting to get some action. Uh, what happens is overwintering insects, they start to come up to the buds right about this time of year, just as the buds are swelling. And there's some right by my thumb here, some little aphids lining up. And they're getting ready to have, uh, have some uh, lunch here pretty soon but what they do is they, they start to migrate towards the tips they'll actually overwinter in little cracks and crevices in the tree and as soon as they start to migrate and start to move towards the buds that's when they become vulnerable and that's when you spray them with the dormant oil so this is the time usually when these buds are just breaking or just just at that verge of breaking uh, the uh, the insects become mobile you get a couple warm days temperatures warm that's when you can really be have the effective uh, spray with the dormant oil uh, if you leave it a little bit too long what happens is the aphids will actually migrate to the tips and then they'll go right down inside these leaves underneath the, the the buds so they'll crawl right in these little crevices and then the dormant oil doesn't hit them and I think there's even a little aphid right there it's already done that so you know this could be just a little bit late but for future uh, future planning for dormant oil you don't want to do it too early because the dorm, the, the uh, insects are completely dormant and they're hidden in little cracks and crevices so they don't they're not going to be uh, you know you're not going to be able to spray them so we want to wait till, the, till it warms up a bit and they start to get active, they start to crawl in the tree, and then you hit them and you get best effect. So uh, that's it for dormant spray today. Uh, just always follow your label directions. And uh, yeah, not when it's too cold. It has to be a bit warm for dormant sprays. So, so that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. And remember to check colonagardens.com for all your gardening tips.